Welcome to the perplexing world of unsolved mysteries. In this video, we explore the depths of some of the most perplexing and intriguing cases that have stumped investigators for years. From mysterious disappearances and unexplained deaths to strange occurrences and eerie phenomena, we will attempt to shed light on these baffling enigmas. Despite the best efforts of detectives, these mysteries remain unsolved leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and haunting uncertainty. Join us as we delve into the unknown and attempt to unravel the secrets that have eluded even the most experienced investigators. So buckle up and get ready for a journey into the fascinating world of unsolved mysteries. Jeffrey Epstein, the fall of Jeffrey Epstein, a story of power, money, and sexual abuse. The man in question is Jeffrey Epstein, a wealthy hedge fund manager who had a lavish lifestyle in New York and owned a private island in the Caribbean. He was known to have famous friends, including Bill Gates, Donald Trump, Bill Clinton, and Prince Andrew. However, things took a dark turn when a 14-year-old girl in Florida accused him of luring her to his Palm Beach mansion for a massage and then forcing her to strip and watch him pleasure himself. This led to an investigation that uncovered that Epstein had procured dozens of young women for illegal sexual activities. Despite having enough evidence to lay multiple sex trafficking charges that could have carried a maximum sentence of 10 years imprisonment, Epstein was able to negotiate a plea deal. He pleaded guilty to one count of soliciting a minor and received an 18-month sentence in a private wing of the Palm Beach County Jail under a work release agreement that allowed him to leave the jail for up to 12 hours a day, six days a week. A decade later, when more details of Epstein's crimes have come to light, it was revealed that the plea arrangement had essentially shut down the FBI probe into Epstein's activities. The prosecutor who approved the plea deal, Alexander Acosta, had since become the Secretary of Labor in the Trump administration. He was forced to resign from his position in 2019 after a federal judge ruled that he and his team had broken the law by concealing details of the plea agreement from Epstein's victims. Epstein served only 13 months of his 2008 prison sentence, and it's been alleged that he molested further individuals. The circumstances surrounding his death in 2019 have also been the subject of controversy and speculation. Epstein's apparent suicide attempt in July 2019 was a prelude to his eventual death. On August 10th, he was found dead in his cell, having apparently hanged himself with a bedsheet. The news of Epstein's death sent shockwaves around the world and raised many questions. Conspiracy theories abounded, with some suggesting that Epstein had been murdered to prevent him from revealing damaging information about his powerful associates. The circumstances surrounding Epstein's death were investigated by multiple authorities, including the FBI and the Department of Justice. A subsequent autopsy confirmed that Epstein had indeed died from suicide by hanging, but the findings did little to quell the speculation and controversy. The investigation into Epstein's alleged crimes and associates continued, with Ghislaine Maxwell being arrested in July 2020 and subsequently charged with multiple offenses related to Epstein's alleged sex trafficking ring. The Epstein saga has been a sobering reminder of the power and influence wielded by the wealthy and privileged, and the often inadequate mechanisms in place to hold them accountable. It has also highlighted the bravery and resilience of the survivors who have spoken out against Epstein and his associates, and the ongoing struggle to ensure that justice is served. However, despite the apparently straightforward explanation for Epstein's death, many questions remained unanswered. How was it possible that a man who had previously been on suicide watch could have managed to hang himself with a bedsheet? Why were the guards who were supposed to be monitoring him not doing their job properly? And why had Epstein been taken off suicide watch so quickly after his first suicide attempt? These and other questions have led to a flurry of conspiracy theories surrounding Epstein's death. Some believe that he was murdered to prevent him from revealing compromising information about his powerful friends and associates. Others think that the government was involved in a cover-up to protect those same individuals. Whatever the truth may be, the fact remains that Eckstein's death was a tragic end to a sordid tale of abuse, power, and corruption. While some of his victims may have found closure in his demise, others will never have the opportunity to confront their abuser in court, and the questions surrounding Epstein's death will likely continue to haunt us for years to come. But on the night of his death, the guards failed to do so. In fact, they didn't check on him for eight hours straight. According to reports, the guards assigned to Epstein's unit were overworked, and understaffed. One of the two guards on duty was actually a substitute who had been working overtime. The other guard was a corrections officer who had been forced to work a double shift. The lack of cell checks during those crucial eight hours gave Epstein ample opportunity to take his own life or for someone else to take it for him. And that's not all. The autopsy report revealed that Epstein had suffered multiple broken bones in his neck, including the hyoid bone, 
which is often broken during homicides by strangulation. All of these factors have led to speculation that Epstein's death was not a suicide at all, but a murder made to look like one, who would have had the motive and the means to carry out such a plot. The list of suspects is long and includes everyone from Epstein's high-profile associates to powerful government officials who may have wanted to keep Epstein's secrets buried. The truth about what really happened to Jeffrey Epstein may never be known for sure, but one thing is certain. His death has become yet another chapter in a sordid story of abuse, corruption, and the abuse of power by the wealthy and well-connected. Epstein's death came at a time when he was facing multiple charges of sex trafficking, and sexual abuse of minors. He had already served time for similar charges in the past, and his connections to wealthy and powerful individuals, including politicians and royalty, had made him a controversial figure. Many people believed that he had used his wealth and connections to avoid more severe punishment for his crimes in the past, and there was speculation that he might have been planning to name names in exchange for a lighter sentence in his latest case. Some of the people who might have had reason to want Epstein silenced included his former clients, who could have been implicated in his crimes, as well as those who might have been involved in his alleged sex trafficking ring. There were also rumours that Epstein had connections to intelligence agencies, both foreign and domestic, and that he might have possessed sensitive information that could have compromised those agencies or their operatives. Whatever the truth of the matter, Epstein's death was a stunning and unexpected turn of events in a case that had already captured the attention of the world. The various missteps and irregularities that have preceded it only added to the mystery and intrigue surrounding the case and ensured that Epstein's legacy would continue to be debated and scrutinised for years to come. The Epstein story is certainly a complex and multi-layered one, with rumours and allegations of everything from espionage to blackmail to arms dealing. The fact that Epstein was known to have dirt on so many powerful people, combined with his connections to high-level politicians and intelligence agencies, only adds to the mystery surrounding his life and death. The discovery of Epstein's expired Austrian passport in his New York mansion, with his photo but a false name and Saudi Arabian address certainly adds fuel to the theory that he may have been involved in some kind of espionage, and the fact that he boasted to friends about working for the CIA only adds to the speculation. The connection between Epstein and Robert Maxwell, who himself has been the subject of many conspiracy theories, is also intriguing. Maxwell's ties to Mossad and allegations of being a double or even triple agent only add to the complexity of this already convoluted story, and the fact that William Barr, Donald Trump's attorney general, and the son of Epstein's former boss at Dalton School was the one to lead the investigation into Epstein's death only adds to the suspicion and speculation surrounding the case. All in all, it's clear that the Epstein story is far from over and that there are likely many more layers to uncover. Whether we'll ever know the full truth about what happened to him and what he was really up to during his life remains to be seen. Summary Conclusion The story of Jeffrey Epstein is a dark and disturbing one filled with allegations of sexual abuse, blackmail, and even espionage. Epstein's connections to high-profile politicians, celebrities, and other powerful individuals have led to widespread speculation about his true motives and whether he may have been working as a spy. The discovery of an expired passport with a false name and address in Saudi Arabia, as well as Epstein's own claims of working for the CIA, have only added to the intrigue. Despite the official explanation of Epstein's death as a suicide, many questions remain unanswered, and the story of Epstein and his alleged accomplices continues to unfold like an endless onion, with new layers of conspiracy and speculation waiting to be uncovered. Dear viewers, I wanted to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude for taking the time to watch my videos on Unsolved Mysteries. Your support means the world to me and motivates me to continue creating content that you enjoy. I am thrilled to announce that I will be producing around 40 videos on this topic, delving into the mysteries of the world and exploring different theories and explanations. I am excited to share my findings and insights with you. If you enjoyed my content, please consider liking and sharing my videos with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my latest releases. By subscribing, you will also help me to reach more people who may be interested in the subject. Lastly, if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, don't forget to press the notification bell.